So I had the craziest out-of-body experience today, and um, I was attacked in the process. Um, so I'm going to teach you guys a little bit about psychic defense and um, how it applies to specifically sleep paralysis. But first, I'm going to tell you my experience, because it was fucking terrifying, um, invigorating, and hilarious at the same time. Um, so I'm lying in bed, trying to get into a real deep trance in order to get out of body. And um, I find myself kind of drifting in and out of consciousness, and I'm going in this with the intention of practicing a little bit of vampirism. And um, by the way, I don't know if I put away the psychic link to the person, but anyway to the victim and <laughs> what happens is um, I'm drifting in and out of consciousness I, I open my eyes I hit the nick just like this <sighs> which it's, it's a real good nicotine great shamanic type thing you get the right music going you get relaxed enough you hit this and it just puts you in a certain kind of relaxation and trance and I close my eyes legit for two seconds and I just get hit with this paralysis total fucking paralysis of like my lower body out of nowhere and I have never experienced sleep paralysis um, at the onset I've experienced it waking up a lot of people have but I've never gotten this deep before and it had felt like someone, um, like I had gotten shot in the spine or something. Like, I, I legit thought maybe I should stop because there's something wrong. Because my legs just felt like it was not painful but uncomfortable, but like just fucking dead. Everything from the waist down just dead. And then gradually this grew cold um, and, and like this paralysis spread all over my body until the only thing I could really move was my face. And <clears throat> at this point, I start hearing, like, whispers in my room, like, mocking me. And I don't feel any kind of presence yet. Um, I relax a little bit more. And I start, um, I start to actually feel these presences around me. One, um, as soon as I got into this experience, I, I pictured my body of shadow hovering over me. Um, you know, as just pure, pure dark form, and then shape shifted and molded that into the image of me, the replica of me, because I didn't want to go out in that form. That wasn't my intention. And as I get in, I, I project into that, and I see myself lying in bed, and I'm floating, I'm hovering above. And I look around the room, and I get a good look at like the crowd, like the three or four, it was like three entities that were like there just waiting to seize I, for some reason they weren't interested in me they were interested in me like my my body over there in bed but not like the astral me weird so um of course they just have at it like one of them um I'm, I'm snapped back into my body for a moment and i can feel that this thing is like turning me over long tall black figure with the intention of raping me right and um at that moment i just like i'm back in my astral body of shadow i'm i shape shift i'm this completely black figure with all of these different um like a, a black aura around me that's like like wafting like incense smoke and like this nexus of long uh skinny black arms that are just emanating from me like just snatching at the air and just grabbing right and I put this sphere of fire around my sleeping body to protect myself the sphere of dragon's fire and um, That works it burns the shit out of a few of these um, or, or a couple of these guys uh, One of the entities that I saw was like a little girl in like a shady ass little girl in like a dirty dress and um and like these pigtails that were like triangular shaped, like they went out like that. Real dirty, but her face was just like a hole. 
like someone had just fucking blasted her face out with the shotgun. It was just like black, like there was just nothing there um, except the outline. So real freaky, but you know, the Sphere of Dragon's Fire helped. Um, there was only one left and it was this real pathetic kind of not too willful, not too malicious um, black entity creature that was just sitting there kind of pawing at the shield. Couldn't do anything. So I leave my body there. Um, still kind of keeping in tune with it to make sure it's okay, but I just kind of go off on my own. Um, in in this in this way, like I started to have visions of like a beach and like a, a, a farm place and stuff like that, and I was like there exploring that. But I don't know um, what necessarily happened because my astral body of shadow does some crazy shit when I'm not with it, when I'm not with him apparently, because I'm back in my body for a moment to check on myself. And then I'm back in my astral body of shadow and he's like at this marketplace and I don't understand this. I don't understand anything about what I'm about to tell you except for my own actions. But I'm at in an interdimensional marketplace. Like people there know that I'm not from there. And also the people there, you can tell like not all of them are from there either. It's like they're all sort of travelers in, in some way, shape or form. So there's this lady that I guess I was talking to because when I get back in this body of shadow um, she's talking to me in this weird fucking zombie language that I don't understand and then out of nowhere she just fucking grabs she just snatches some shit I didn't even see what it was and and runs like she's trying to steal from the place so I run after her and I realize that this is my first full-on out-of-body experience and I could do whatever the fuck I want to uh, so I there's this thing in the Temple of Azikthoth called the, the Hand of Black Lightning. And I use the Hand of Black Lightning. I fucking blast her with, with this stream of black, white lightning. Um, and then she's on the ground and I don't... I, I got like drunk with power and I just like streamed it at her. Just this constant fucking flux. And disintegrated her head from here all the way down to like right here, like this lower part of her head was all that was left. And I turn around and everybody in the parking lot of this fucking interdimensional Jewel Osco is like looking at me like I just did the, the worst thing ever. So, um, for some reason I get, I get, um, sort of snapped back into my body, um, maybe overexcitement or something, but I'm able to relax enough and, and reinforce that shield around me enough that I can get back into my body of shadow. And when I find him, he's disguised as like a safari woman. And I was trying to communicate with him and telling him like, you know, let's go, let's go get shit done. And he's like, oh wait, you know, I had this shape shift. I had to get in, in disguise. So that was fucking weird. And then um, I come back or no, no, what happened was my alarm clock went off. And it scared the shit out of me. I mean, it was painful being shocked out of that kind of paralysis, like consciously. So um, that was it for the experience. But when I came out of it, I saw like two other entities that were just there, like just ready to fucking go. Um, real menacing, dark figures. So I obviously have some astral cleaning of my temple to do, which I don't do often and I should do way more. It's irresponsible to not do it. Um, because it affects your magical practice and and so if you're ever in sleep paralysis um and and people call this the night hag experience but as magicians we know that it could be actually bad for you this is like astral vampirism and, and astral parasitism so one thing that you can do is don't panic that always makes things worse um if you if you find yourself in sleep paralysis uh and this is happening to you <clears throat> try to calm yourself down, remind yourself that you're safe, you're in control. Um, if you have enough willpower, you can go against the, the attacker. Um, another thing that you can try to do is just move a finger, because you can't move your body. That's like the big problem with sleep paralysis. Um, you can call on personal guardians, um, spirits you have a relationship with to help you, patron demons, whatever. Um, and another thing is just like, general precautions burn some cleansing incense i'm burning dragon's blood right now um you can set up a mirror to reflect any kind of attacks coming at you program it that way um and just remember you're not a victim hail satan